Do you love me? <laughs> nice creamy baby. Ah, uh, yes. Good morning, everybody. This is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today because I am going to be walking you guys through a full day of eating. So many people have been asking for this over the years, but it is finally time. It is Sunday, August 22nd, the final day of week two of my sex vacation 2021. Everything's been going really well so far. I know the big priorities for today is it's the last day, so I'm going to do like a three hour bike ride. So I'm getting ready for that, but I start each morning and it is 9.10 right now. I got off to a little bit of a late start because last night I spent the evening doing a two and a half hour bike ride. So getting started this morning after a great night's sleep, slept almost eight hours, but every morning I start off with a nice shot of apple cider vinegar with the mother. My dad taught me about it uh, years ago, but he only did it once. He couldn't handle the taste. So I start out with that. Uh, Katina and I had some coffee and talked earlier this morning, but every morning I kind of start off with this. Uh, there is a lot of research on it, and I don't know how much of it is actually valid. I actually like it most because it kind of wakes me up. But let's do this as a little drop shot and kick off the day. Boom. Ah, like I'm in college. Having some coffee, my beautiful girlfriend, Katina, just finished breakfast. It is Sunday, pretty much one of the only days we get to actually eat breakfast together. And she makes this delicious breakfast that I'm having now. As you saw, there are lots of healthy vegetables. So we've got red pepper, we've got mushrooms, we've got lots of broccoli. Broccoli is one of my favorite healthy vegetables. We've got jalapenos. She did add one of my favorite seasonings, curry sauce. What else do we got? Anything else besides the eggs? Mushrooms, curry powder, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, yes. So what I do, I got a big ride coming up today, uh, and then I'm having issues with Garmin. Uh, I keep going after my step goal, and I've got it on automatic, and it keeps on going up and up. So Garmin wants me to do 11,000 steps today. And really, it's Sunday. I've got a lot of uh, business stuff to do, so I've got to uh, mail out 26 packages. Uh, all from people that have bought store stuff uh, this past week, which is much appreciated. Thanks to everybody that's done that. But uh, with that, a lot of today is gonna be sedentary, other than Katina and I going for a walk, and then me doing a three hour ride later today. Mostly healthy vegetables with this breakfast. This salsa is actually courtesy of my friends at the Hamlet, uh, where I did a food challenge in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A lot of the times I do challenges at restaurants, they offer me like a bottle of sauce or, or something that they have, and I try to take them when I can. So great salsa here, but just gonna enjoy this breakfast. And on Sundays, weekends, breakfast is usually my biggest meal of the day. So let's enjoy this and get fueled for the day. For all of you that love ASMR, Oh, wow, that was hot. <laughs> oh, God, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I am drinking water with the meal. I usually just have a lot of water throughout the day. I don't actually, people give me crap for drinking soda during the challenges and stuff, but I really don't have that much soda outside of doing the food challenges. But these are carb-wise tortillas that Katina got. Um, it's mostly fiber actually, uh, other than just actual carbs, but this is actually my third one that I'm finishing up this meal with. And I did forget to add, there's one other ingredient in this meal that makes it just all the more delicious, and that is love. 
<laughs> Love from Katina Eats Kilos because if she wasn't cooking this, I wouldn't be eating it. Uh, I actually prefer more just simple stuff, uh, quick so that I can get back to working and doing other stuff. I don't actually get much joy out of cooking for myself. So she made this, it has been delicious. And now before I start working on uh, mailing out the 26 packages, Katina and I are gonna go for a walk and knock out some of the 11,130 steps that Garmin wants me to get today. But mm, delicious, thank you, Katina. Oh, uh, you're welcome, toots. Oh. <laughs> Eventually. All right, everybody, it is 11.10 in the morning. Beautiful day out, as you can see. I'm breaking a little sweat. I'm here with someone who's not breaking a sweat. <laughs> We're at a very fast pace for me, but apparently it's what? This is like a slow waddle, but, uh, we're working with it. Nonsense. Gorgeous day to walk slow. She said earlier, going at this casual pace and I'm sitting here breathing hard. This is not casual, but we are like 5,800 steps in. Everything is going great. I'm gonna head on home in a little bit. Maybe do some steps later, but got some work to do. But yeah, beautiful day out. So it's good to be out enjoying it. All right, we are back from our walk. That was about 6,500 steps, so I'm up to 7,000. Still have like 4,000 to go, but I'll do a lot of that the rest of the day, and if I need to walk later, I will. But cool on down. Wanted to take a quick moment to talk about water. Uh, with me being like 370 pounds, we'll find out tomorrow during my weigh in what I actually am. I drink a lot of water. Make sure to have over a gallon a day. Uh, pretty much one of these. Uh, this is an old Arizona iced tea jug. So I just have this filled every morning and then make sure it's gone at night. But I had a couple glasses of water. Today's gonna be easy to make it to a gallon just because I'm gonna be doing a three hour ride, drinking a lot during that. But yeah, just gonna have some to get hydrated for my upcoming ride after a little bit of work. Ah, refreshing. Eventually. Well, hello there. <laughs> it is about 2.30 p.m. It is time for some lunch. This is my pre-ride kind of meal brought to you by Mrs. Katina Eats Kilos. This is an oatmeal recipe that was passed down to her from her mother who got it from her mother and then just so on uh, back to the 1800s. But what is it? <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is the most bro meal you can do. It's just protein oatmeal. So it's oatmeal and then Randy likes wheat bran. So there's some wheat bran in there. Yes. And I'm doing my bike ride here on my stationary bike. Wheat bran is like 100% fiber. <laughs> so every fourth of a cup has like seven grams. So uh, if anything happens, I'll be here to, to take care of it. But what else? Uh, yeah, there's just some chocolate whey protein powder in there, a little bit of sugar-free syrup, and then some powdered peanut butter just to give it some flavor. So it'll be like Reese's peanut butter cup oats. Yes, and then I of course have some more water so that I'm hydrated and ready. So this meal, again, is different than what I would eat by myself. I would still, I actually do really enjoy the sugar-free syrup. She has that a lot, but let's dig in. Mmm. <laughs> Trigger. What do you do to them? What do I do to them? This is good for you. It tastes like brownie batter. I know. That's the that's the protein powder and the peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's addicting. <laughs> Look right up. While I'm having this, Katina's eating noodles. Mm -hmm. She already finished her ride. And then I'm of course having the oatmeal just for the carbs, uh, complex carbs, and then the proteins in here and lots of stuff. The ride coming up is gonna be three hours, so that's no joke. I'll probably just have a banana as my, like an hour in meal, and then I'll probably have some electrolyte tablets too, depending on how much I sweat. But yeah, gonna finish this, and then I'll catch you guys on the bike. Psych, just kidding. Not on the bike yet. Decided to finish up getting my steps with Katina again. She's already done with her riding. So, gonna get up to the 11,000 steps as a warm up and then uh, probably after a little bit more work then i'll hop on the bike let's get to it
Eventually. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is an hour and seven minutes into my three hour ride. I'm feeling pretty good. Just to make sure I get through the three hours, I'm going to have a little snack. I haven't had any fruit yesterday. I'm going to have one, probably an orange after my ride. But since we're just over an hour in, I'm going to have this banana, and this will help me get through the next two hours along with lots of water. And I'm probably also sweating quite a bit. So I'm gonna have an, an electrolyte tablet as well uh, in one of my glasses of water. So that'll help get me through, keep me feeling energetic so I don't bonk. And then afterwards, we'll have lots more water and a, a good dinner. And really they say it's better to have a more brown banana because that uh, gets absorbed quicker. But we don't have any of those, so we're just going to have this. Time to get back to it. Had a pepper leaf, no doubt. Eventually. Ooh, good evening, everybody. I am done with my ride. It is 9.45 p.m. At night, finally cooled down, got my food all ready. I am in the living room now using my quiet voice because uh, it is a little bit late and Katina is sleeping and don't wanna wake her because I appreciate all her time that she spent with me today uh, helping to film this video and it was great to do two walks with her. I think I'm at like 14,000 steps for the day. So uh, most of my day got dedicated to fitness. I uh, didn't get a whole lot done. So I am gonna have dinner now as my recovery meal and then spend another hour or two getting some work done, uh, commenting on videos, still gotta finish up uh, packaging the store items that have been purchased. Thanks again to everybody for all your support. But yeah, really happy with my three hour ride. I did almost 60 miles, so just shy of that. Was really happy with that and then uh, happy with my power too. So felt pretty good. I was well fueled for it. Uh, thanks to all those oats and everything else I had today. But I burned like 2,400 calories. So now it's time to eat some dinner. All right, here's what we got on the menu for tonight. As I said, Katina's sleeping, so I don't want to wake her up by being real loud in the kitchen. So didn't make anything fancy for dinner. I also kind of wanted to make a sandwich because that shows what I have for most lunches uh, during my internship. But we've got a sandwich. I did go with some turkey. I love, 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 love banana peppers. So I've got a whole bunch of those. Uh, recover some of my salts that I just lost through all the sweat through my ride. We've got some sriracha sauce for flavoring along with some reduced fat cheese. I've got some carrots, baby carrots, smothered with some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Got some healthy fruits, we got our orange there. And then I am gonna have probably a cup out of here. Uh, I pretty much eat this myself, so I don't need to worry about uh, eating it in a separate container, but we've got some organic, not that that matters, but we've got plain Greek yogurt. So that's gonna be yummy. And then I of course have some more water. I'm already done with the gallon of water that I had throughout the day. I finished that off during my ride, but now we just have some more and then we'll have this and enjoy and then get back to work and then finish off the night with a nightcap. Finishing off this meal with a nice airplane filled with yogurt. Mmm. Calcium's just going right to the bones. <laughs> Alrighty, it is a few hours after my ride and dinner. Still feeling pretty good, but I am tired. It actually just hit 12.30 a.m. on Monday. So, Sexification 2021, week two is over. I am happy with my productivity tonight. I got back to a lot of people on social media, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. As you can see behind me, I finished packaging up all of the store purchases from the past week. I'll get those to the post office tomorrow. Thank you guys for your continued 
support. That is really awesome that so many people uh, get stuff from the store and uh, I sign it too. And then it takes a while because I sign autographs for everybody as well. But I am about to end the day similar to how I started it. I woke up this morning and had the apple cider vinegar with mother. And then uh, at the end of each evening, I always have right before bed, three teaspoons or three servings pretty much of the Walmart version of Metamucil uh, Equate brand. I do go with the sugar-free, don't wanna end with a whole bunch of sugar. Uh, so I just go with the sugar-free version, fewer calories. But yeah, it's got psyllium husk, lots of soluble fiber. And then that's of course gonna help with cholesterol. So I do want to end this whole series or the sexification with a clean bill of health and a nice, sexy lipid panel. So I wanna have good cholesterol numbers. So before bed each evening, I always have the Metamucil or the Walmart brand. So I'm gonna go upstairs and do that, get a great night's sleep, and then I'll weigh in tomorrow to see how week two went, and then I'll report back to you then. Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. I am really happy with how week number two went. I just weighed in a few hours ago, as you can see, 369 pounds. So really happy with that, especially since it's only been two weeks. Started out at 393.6 pounds. So in just two hardworking weeks, I am down 24.6 pounds with 7.4 pounds lost during week two. So I'm at 369 and I'm really happy about that because I think I started the 2020 diet around 373 pounds. So I am down under that in only two weeks and I still have 13 more weeks to go since this is a 15 week series. But let's look at all the numbers. Uh, just a few little missteps, but not really missteps because I still dominated, but let's just look. We've got five strikes. So I didn't hit my goal of six, but I'm still happy with that because as you can see here, I had two spares in a row. My buddy Todd from the Kansas City area, he was up with his wife and then him and his wife and then Katina and I went out to dinner and I didn't get to ride because I had school that whole day before that. So had a day off, but I did complete my steps goal uh, all seven days uh, from my Garmin watch. So I was happy about that. Big thank you to Katina for all her time walking with me. But yeah, just five strikes. And then of course yesterday, uh, as you all know, I hit a strike with all that healthy eating and then the three hour ride. I did manage to hit uh, not only my step goal, but I did hit my biking goal. I ended the week with 11 hours of cycling uh, with two big days on Saturday and Sunday to end the week. Uh, I did get a spare on Saturday because Katina and I went to Irish Fest and we did have fun, but we did come home and I rode two and a half hours to end the evening to kind of burn some of that off and get ready for Sunday. So I did hit my sleep goal of six hours a day, uh, every day but one. This Wednesday, I had a lot going on for my internship and stuff like that. My internship is taking up a lot of time, but I'm still gonna get through it. It's gonna be okay. It was a busy week and it's only gonna get busier, but we will get it managed. So I am really happy with that. And I am gonna talk more about my scoring and stuff uh, as the weeks progress. So that is the end of week two. I've got lots more coming up in week three. Katina is actually gonna be going to Colorado for a wedding. So I'll have Wednesday through Sunday where it's just me. So I'm definitely gonna hit my 12 hours of cycling this week for sure. But yeah, stay tuned till next Friday for another update. Please let me know down below in the comments what you would like me to speak about. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna talk about in the next video. I took my full day of eating today. In the next one, I didn't really get to explain a whole lot about my thoughts about my own diet and my practices and stuff like that. So I'll probably answer lots of questions about how I view my diet and everything mentally. So if you have a specific question related to that, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating, my first time filming a video like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Any constructive criticism or feedback, let me know that as well. But until my next video, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, hoping you guys always, always, always win before you begin. Thanks for watching.